Hello, I'm Jay Cole Sanford, Cash Crop Product Specialist for New Holland, and today we are looking at the all-new CR11, a new launch for model year 25. So as we consider the, the fourth pillar of the total cost of harvesting, we want to consider the residue system. And that's one of the things that the develop, when we developed and designed this machine that we had to get right. And one of the things that we saw with this class uh, 10 and up machine, uh, the producers that use that machine are going to be using wider headers. And um, that when we get into those larger headers, we need to have an equal uh, distribution as well as a, a, a header width matched uh, residue system and so when they were developing the system they're like well how do we actually sense and how do we actually see where the residue is going so they developed a radar system that allows us to sense the material coming out of the residue system and being able to then adjust the residue system on the fly in a closed loop manner such that it gets to the full width of the header it also is one thing to consider is you could have a residue system that would spread too wide. So if we spread our residue too wide into standing crop, we can actually get losses developed on that next pass uh, because of the material hitting the crop and, and actually shelling out the wheat. So it's a common thing in our industry to, to you have to watch that. Well, the system watches for that as well. So all we do is input into the system the header width and then the machine goes to work and develop and, and basically can change the residue system uh, to, to meet those needs. Another thing that the system will adapt for is the wind. So as we're driving maybe in a crosswind situation, we need more residue system spread on one side versus the other. This system, because it's only looking at where the actual residue is going, is doing that for us as well. So really, it doesn't take any uh, operator input, and you can sit in the cab and focus on the things at the front of the machine, knowing that the machine is going to take care of the residue system on the back. So that's a little bit of the taste of what's, what's to come. There'll be more information uh, launched uh, in the future as we get to closer to, to full launch. Again, we'll be starting to take orders later this year for the machine. But if you have more questions and want to learn more about it, visit newholland.com or search New Holland Agriculture on any of the social medias or reach out to your facing local New Holland dealership. Thanks.